this in the previous class? Yes, you are correct. Wonders of visible light. We started a new chapter. We ended the class by discussing about two reflections. Which were the two reflections? Correct. Regular reflection and diffuse reflection. When light falls on a smooth surface, it is reflected regularly. It is known as regular reflection. When light falls on a rough surface, for example cardboard, its surface is rough, isn't it? Yes, when light falls on a rough surface, it is reflected irregularly. It is known as diffuse reflection. Get in? Perfect. Okay. Can you say, how did we see an object? Yes. When light falling on the object, it reflected into our eyes. Then we can see an object. Great. Good job. Then look at this figure. How did the boy see the book? Huh? Yes. The light falling on the book get reflected into the boy's eyes. Then he can see the book. Good job. Excellent. Then can you say how did the driver see the boy crossing the road in the daytime? Yeah. Very good. The light falling on the boy and it reflected into the driver's eyes. Then the driver can see the boy. Very good. Then, can you say, how did the dog is seen when torch light is lighted? Yes, when light falling on the dog and it reflected into the man's eyes. Then, the dog is seen. You all are clear about this, isn't it? Look, this is a mirror. It has a plain surface. Okay, this is a normal mirror. Okay, then when a mirror having a plane surface is known as plane mirrors. Okay, this is a plane mirror. Get it? Okay, then can you see how did our image uh, fall on the mirror? Then how did we see our image on the mirror? Yeah, try it. Yes, yes, when light falling on our face and get reflected into the mirror and again get reflected into our eyes, then we can see our face. Excellent, good job. Let's do a small experiment. The materials we are going to use in this experiment a laser torch and this is smoke box. Come on. This there is fixed a plane near here. Can you see this? Using this, we are going to do the experiment. Okay, take a look. In the smoke box with smoke using a agabati to see the path of light clearly. Carefully. Can you see the reflection of light? Which reflection is going on here? Yes, regular reflection. Like the experiment? Fine. Look at this figure. This figure is based on the experiment we saw. It is about regular reflection. Do you notice some rays? We can discuss about that. The ray falling on the mirror is called incident ray. And the ray falling on the mirror and reflected is called reflected ray. And the light drawn perpendicular to the mirror is called normal. And the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incidence. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called angle of reflection. I think you all are clear about that. Ready for the next experiment? Through this experiment, we are going to find that is there any relation between angle of incidence and angle of reflection? Experiment all 
also we are using the same materials like a smog box there is fixed a paper protractor here and we need a laser torch let's begin the uh, laser torch under 20 degree we can see what will come mm -hmm. look it's reflecting to 20 degree itself okay we can try it on 13 degree Looking at forty degree, then at zero, it's same. Experiment: We found that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are always equal. We are going to discuss about the peculiarities of plane mirror. Stand in front of a plane mirror. Raise your right hand. Which hand is formed in the image? Yes. left hand isn't it then raise your left hand which hand is formed in the image yes it's opposite isn't it set a shift of the lateral side in the opposite direction is called lateral inversion now i'm going to show you a magic look carefully a magical mirror i am putting a word now you can see this isn't it yes it's it's cat now i am putting it in front of the mirror can you read it now this is lateral inversion lateral inversion is also used in our day to day life do you observe ambulance written yes it's a uh, written in lateral inversion we can't read it in normally but the cars in front of the ambulance they can read it with the rear view mirror the cars in front of the ambulance know knew that it's emergency and they will move aside a matchstick i am moving it a little bit forward a little bit backward a little bit forward a little bit backward from this we found that the distance between the image and the mirror is equal to the distance between the object and the mirror also the size of the image will be the same as that of the object these are the peculiarities of the plane mirror the image will undergo lateral inversion the distance between the image and the mirror is equal to the distance between the object and the mirror also the size of the image will be same a start to the object okay this is aranmula mirror the aranmula mirror is made with an alloy of special compositions this mirror gives clearer image than the original mirrors do look at the steel ladder is there any difference between the inner and outer sides of the ladder Take a look at this video. when the sheet is plain the size is same when the sheet is bent forward the size is small and when the sheet is bent backwards 
the size is bigger. These are the other two mirrors. I will introduce you. This mirror is curved inwards. Its surface is curved inwards. It's like an open cave. It is called concave mirror. Okay. And this mirror surface is curved inwards. This mirror is called convex mirror. Okay. The mirror which which surface is curved inwards is known as concave mirror and the mirror which having the surface curved outwards is known as convex mirror. The mirror is having a plane surface is known as plane mirror. I think you all are clear about the topics we have covered today. See you next time. Bye.